Hello everyone, my name's Joseph, you can call me Joey, think baby kangaroo, and that's me. I'm here to talk to you about my job seeking experiences as a 21 year old, fresh out of uni, graduate, I studied a business management degree, did a joint study in marketing and just graduated March this year. I am looking for work. Just today though, an interesting development. I finally got an interview. I've applied for 18 jobs in three weeks that I've been back from America. Notice the flag in the background. And yeah, I was about to, you know, be all doom and gloom and oh, no one wants to hire me and I'm too, you know, I'm not proactive enough and starting to doubt myself. But then, you know, finally an interview, which is a great, great step in the right direction. Day two of the job search, actually third week, fifth day since I've been back from America. I went on my interview and it went really well. So waiting to hear back from that one, be just doing food and beverage attending, which is perfect. Don't have to think too much, but be a good challenge for me. Come home, open the emails, what do I get? Another interview for a promotional gig in Sydney. So everything's kind of happening at once. I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen, but I hope I can work something so I can get the best out of both worlds. I will keep you posted. Day three. Well, I didn't make it down to Sydney for that interview that they wanted at 10 a.m. this morning, but, you know, I tried to set up, try to organize a Skype or phone interview as like an alternative thing, because Sydney's, you know, four and a half, five hours away from me, and I had something I couldn't get out of last night. Anyway, probably missed that one, but on a lighter note, I got a phone call from the extras casting lady, and... I'm going to be in a scene on Friday, just in the background, so I'm pretty keen to see where that takes me. I I won't talk too much about the project, because, no, probably not supposed to, but, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this. Should be something, and it's a paid gig, so that's even better. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Day four of the job search, and I got my first clear-cut rejection letter from Cobham Aviation. Well, it's their loss anyway, because aviation is where I ultimately want to fucking end up. Oh, well. Went to Dubbo to chill out and kind of have a bit of a down day. And then, that is where I got a thingamajiggy. A, a text message from the casting lady for this project I'm involved in. And I shoot 6am tomorrow as an extra, so looking forward to that. Get to stand around in the background, you might see me in the final product, final cut, whatever the fuck it's called. But yeah, I will have something to do at least. So days five and six have not so much been about a job search, more like a job performance. I've started work as an extra for this thing they're filming in town and really happy to be there. Been doing some really cool stuff. Number of different things which is great and I feel like the cast of this one is a lot nicer than the cast of the other one I was in. Um, so there's that. I got to drink fake beer, which was pretty fun. And I won't say too much more about that. Hopefully it'll be on TV soon enough. Yeah, today was spent at the airport as an extra. So getting paid to be at the airport is something I aspire to do ultimately. So keen for a rest tomorrow because I've been up at 6am, or 5am yesterday, and then 6am today. So, I'm pretty shot. Day 7. And on the 7th day, he rested. Yeah, basically, I'm not doing anything more today, job search-wise. I'll just, you know, give a quick recap of the week. It's been absolutely insane. Could not have picked a better week to start documenting my job hunting and the adventures 
associated with it. Um, so yeah, basically sent off one application. I only I wanted to do three, but you know that didn't happen. On top of that, I had two interviews, only one of which I could make it to because the other was in Sydney. I was a long way away. Um, done two days as a movie extra or on for TV series, TV extra. So, so yeah, it's been absolutely crazy, but I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for sharing the adventure with me. Every Until time next time. They, screamed, they sounded like machines to me.